What's up y'all? My name's Andy. This is EPS Garage and I hope y'all like my new little intro, me having some fun. Today's video is not about the intro though, it is about the BMW, the basic mobile workbench. I did another upgrade, if you remember recently, I just upgraded my top and I did a short video on doing some three quarter inch dog wedge holes. Feel free to check those out, I'll link them both. This bench, when I got it, had a lot of open space so you you know you put your stuff in the bottom and then you've got 12 to 13 inches of space doing nothing so I thought what better way to put some drawers in there I made these drawers 100% out of scrap wood including the slides and everything which I have to because look at this horrendous mountain behind me utilizing some of that hey if you like the video make sure don't forget hit that thumbs up subscribe also if you want notifications you can ring that bell here it is check it out after measuring my space where I wanted my drawers to go and knowing what width I was going to need, I got my scrap wood and I started cutting them down to size. As soon as I got the sides cut, I took them over to where they were going to be going and just kind of started playing around and make sure they were going to fit, if that was the right size, and just make sure everything was going to come out all right before I started going any further in the process. Once I got it all figured out, then I continued making the next set of sides and fronts for my drawers. And remember, this is all gonna be custom, so you, I can't really give you my sizes because it wouldn't make any sense for yours. You really just gotta measure and figure out what will work on your workbench. I decided I was gonna use my dado stack to make some rabbits on the front and backs of my drawers. You don't have to use a dado stack. You can also do this with just your table saw blade. I actually made a video that shows how to do it very easily. I'll link it in the description. I laid my stack next to the wood that I was gonna be using, or some of the wood, I guess I could say, and make sure that it was close to the size, the thickness that I needed for my rabbit. The problem I ran into though, is I was using scrap wood. So every, every three quarter inch sheet of plywood is not all exactly the same. So it was close, but I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. And here's just a little example of the fit up. It fit up nice and neat. I got it pretty good. Once I knew the fit up was going to be good enough for me, I went ahead and cut the other pieces. I am using my newer Freud Dado Stack. A while back I did a comparison between it and the Harbor Freight. And I'm gonna continue using the Freud until, so I get good data on it and do another video to tell y'all what I think of it. So far, I'm not super impressed to be honest. Glue up time. Does anybody else love glue ups? For this glue up, I use Type Bond 2 and my strap clamp. If you don't have any strap clamps, they are very handy. I always link it in my descriptions. Feel free to check it out. You can get them on Amazon. They're not expensive. They work great for boxes, picture frames, anything square but it does work very well. Uh, using my little applicator for my glue, I put it in all the rabbits, and then I put it all together, and I strapped it down with the clamp. Once I got it tight with the strap clamp, I went ahead and just put some brad nails in the sides, just to, they're not for strength, they're just holding it together while the glue dries. And then that was really it. I did this on both of the drawers. Very quick and simple, didn't take me long at all. Now that I had the actual box frame complete, I could actually physically measure the rabbits on the bottom side for the bottom of the drawer. Once I did that, I could go over to the table saw and I cut the bottom using a piece of, I believe it was like quarter inch plywood I had laying around. After getting those bottom pieces cut, I went ahead and tested the fit up. And of course, it's a perfect fit. Wouldn't expect anything else, would you? Knowing that the bottoms fit just fine, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. Of course, I'm using Type Bond too, and throw in some brad nails in there. Again, not for strength, just to hold it together while the glue's drying, and I can continue working. I link these shims in every one of my videos. They're so handy. You can break them apart, they come in multiple different thicknesses, but I'm gonna use them here to space the bottom drawer from the, the top drawer slide, and that way they, they're perfectly spaced from the drawer. Now, I did a test fit up, and this particular piece of scrap wood was too thick for this application, so I had to turn it on its side, 
and try that. And that seemed to work just fine. From there, I can go ahead and throw some wood glue on there, put some brad nails in there, and it'll be good to go. It's really that simple for these type of drawer slide where it just slides in there. There's nothing to it. Okay, to be really clear here, this is not about looks. <laughs> this was about using scrap lumber and cleaning up my garage and making more organizational space. And I think I achieved the mission. I All this material was from my horrendous scrap pile. As you may have seen before, ooh, yeah, it's bad. But I wanted to use some of it up while making space for all these little different gauging tools, marking tools, stuff that I've acquired. I mean, look, you can see this. This piece wasn't wide enough, but I went ahead and used it anyways because it was long enough. And I wasn't going to go buy any more lumber just to have a piece that fits nice and neatly. It's, it's in the back. Who cares, right? This is going to help me. I can always put a face on the front of these if I wanted to make them look a little better. I really don't care. I'll probably put just a pool right here. And I can even push these back out of the way so no sawdust and stuff or less sawdust gets in them. And then I can pull them out as I need them. I think it's an improvement. All right, thanks for watching. It's a great day today. Totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> All right. Take two. Today is a great day. I hope you all like my new little intro. What in the hell was that? A race car in the neighborhood? All right. Take three.